G'day, I'm Drew from Green Grow Productions, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to copy a grade from one timeline to another timeline. So we have one timeline here with our clips. As you can see, they have a grade on them, very basic grade. Uh, we have two clips here, the same clip, but with a different grade. We'll come back to that one. And then we have our second timeline. So as you can see, this timeline is actually shorter than the other timeline, and also we have a different clip. If we go back to timeline one, we have this clip, and in timeline two, we have this clip. Okay, so there's a couple of things you want to take into consideration before copying the grade across. So as you can see, we have two clips here, so that's going to be a problem. This clip is different, so that's going to be a problem. So if we go to our color page and come across to our first clip, so we've actually done a sizing change in this one and we've cropped in. With this clip here, there's actually two versions. So, Control F to go large screen, and then Control B to choose a different version. We have a much more moodier clip compared to a more warmer, high key look. Okay, so if we go back to our edit page, and then we want to be in our timeline we want to grade to, so that would be timeline two. So then we come across to our clips page and select timeline two, right click, timelines, color trace and color trace from timeline. So that'll bring up your next selection. So we want to go to host, guest. Okay, and if you're confused by this part, um, this is what happens when you first get into your DaVinci Resolve. So if we go back to home, and this is your project manager. So here's the clip we are going to be working with and there's some other clips that have no relevance whatsoever. So close. So go to your clip selection, timelines two, timelines, color trace, and then color trace from timeline. Then we go to host, guest, and this will probably look different to you. So you want to connect to the project we're working in, so this would be grading. This is where you select the timeline you want to be graded from. So timeline one, because that's a grade you want to copy across to your timeline two, and then go to continue. So this brings up another window, and we have automatic and manual, and then we have some options over here. But at the moment, we're just going to be looking at this screen here and I'll go through a few things and then I'll show you how to fix some of the problems that are going to happen. So in automatic mode, the clips don't show up. They just show up in manual mode. And for the time being, we're just going to pay attention to this screen here and not worry about here or here. So I can already tell that there are going to be a couple of errors. Green means it's going to transfer across no problem whatsoever. Red is it can't find the clip that it's looking for which is the change one we made. And blue is DaVinci is a bit confused as which clip you want to grade it from. So for now, we're going to go copy grade and exit. So then we come into our timeline. And as you can see, that grade worked. And that grade's worked. And this is the one that's different, so that hasn't worked. And then with this one here, it's graded it, but it's not the one we actually wanted. So we come back to our color page and let's look at another problem we have. This only has the one version on. It doesn't actually have the other version on. If the client wanted two versions, then we have to make sure that we have both versions on. So then if we go back to our first clip, we can see that the sizing has come across and the grade has come across also. But now the client's saying that they want clip to be back in normal size. So of course we can just go down here and click and then it'll go back to this size. There is a better way to do it. So we go back to our edit page and what you can do, you don't have to control Z or anything, it'll just copy across the whole new grade. So timeline two, timelines, color trace, and color trace from timeline. And then we'll select the timeline, which in this case is timeline one. Okay, now this time we're gonna switch it to manual. So there's a few things we're gonna change here. First of all, we don't want the sizing, so come down and take sizing off. We want all versions on, and that'll give us the other version of this one. So I know from the fact that this LUT here is gonna work with this clip here. So we're gonna copy that one across manually. And that was the uh, red one. And then this, of course, was the blue one that was selected where DaVinci was a little bit confused. So we want the one that's above, which will be this one here, to match this one here. And we'll copy these to here. And we're going to leave this one for now and come back to it. So we'll go paste. And then done. 
and then we'll come to our timeline. And as you can see, our sizing has changed. We've not cropped in. And if we go to our color page, we have both versions of the color. This one has the grade on. That was the clip, if we go back to timeline one, this grade here. So we still need to fix up this one here because we actually want this grade. We don't want this grade. So go back to timelines, color trace, same process as before. And we'll go back to manual mode. Okay, so the second one is the one that'll be on top. So we go across here and then we go paste. It doesn't matter about the sizing or the versions because we know that nothing has actually changed in these selections. And then we go to done. And as you can see, now we have that other warm look. So all the changes have made and they're all worked really well. Another important thing to remember is that it doesn't matter about the length of the clip. It just matters about the time code or the clip name. Because if you go back to timeline two, as you can see, this clip is a lot shorter than the other clip. And this one is also different in length. So the reason why this would ever come in handy is, let's say that you're almost finished the grade. Uh, it's looking really good, but then the client's like, look, we've had a major change. You know, a lot of the clip sizing has changed. This clip here is down to this length. Um, we have a VFX shot that we need to sync up. This is the placeholder. This shot here, they want the sizing back to the way it was. So there is another way to do it, but it's a very long way. And the way you could do it would be to, let's say you want to copy this grade across. So you would select that clip, go to view, stills, grab still or control G, and then come into your gallery. And you can see that's in our gallery. And then you'd come across to timeline two. And then this is the same clip. So just middle mouse button, and then you have the exact same grade. But of course, this is very time consuming. Um, you know, you can imagine having, let's say 40 clips and you need to copy them all across. You have to make 40 stills, copy that across. It's, it's a very long process. Honestly, just doing the timeline color trace just works a lot better. The important thing to remember is red is that it's not gonna match at all, which means, um, the two clips are different. If we come down here, we can see a clip name here. And we come back to timeline one, our clip's different in name. So that's the reason why those two didn't match up. And then the blue means DaVinci's a little bit confused as to which clip you want to copy across. And then with the sizing and any versions you actually want to do. So that's the way I like to copy grades across. Um, I think it's a really efficient and fast way. But if you have a better way or a more efficient way that you think is a good way to copy grades across, leave a comment below. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm more than happy to answer. And thanks for watching, and I've been Drew from Gringo Productions, and have a great day.